and well, hi and welcome to my channel once again this is daniel for d vibes entertainment i'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed in to get us to 500 subscribers well we are still aiming more and it is from you that we shall be getting to those higher numbers well if you're watching my video for the very first time all you've got to do is just click on the button and don't forget to click on the bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Today, I have a new video for you and this is the character intro. Okay, straight on we go into our software and the first thing you want to do is you want to upload a video and I'll just get one here and drop it right into my software just there okay after getting it you drag it onto your timeline so this is my video as you can see and of course I recorded this on a steady tripod all you want to do is get an action where you are moving towards the camera just like that so I'll start my video right around there and what I'll do is I'll just cut off what I feel I don't need right now. So I'll get my razor tool and just cut my video right from here. And I'll get my selection tool and delete this away. And just clear that away. So this is my video that I have here. So just take it to the beginning right there so this is the video I'm going to be working with okay all you want is stop it at a frame that you feel is okay so I'll use that just stretch this a bit okay when you get here you right click say add frame hold just like that so when you get through this you find that this is actually held it's actually it's not moving the next step you want to do is create a duplicate you create a duplicate of this footage and put it on the next track so I'll just click on my second track on the upper track and I'll go to effects control and under effects control I'll come and get my pen tool now I'm going to mask and get here and enlarge it a bit I'll just take it to 150 so that it's big enough or if you find it's too big you can also take it to 100 and then you start masking just like this you try and make sure that you mask it perfectly around around the body some people are good at masking now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hurry this up so that we don't waste quite a lot of time on it So after you've put your mask feather at zero, the next thing you want to do is go down to your effects. And under effects, you come and search for Gusein Blur. Gusein Blur is right here. So what we are going to do is we are going to drag Gusein Blur and put it in our video on video one. Okay, that is going to act like a background. So we shall go to effects control right here and then look for Gusein Blur and under Gusein Blur we shall increase it. Okay, you can increase it to a figure that you feel is okay. Now I'll just leave mine at around 80 and then I come and click repeat ages, repeat age pixels 
just like that as you can see i have all my edges blurred on the side so after that the next thing you want to do is go back to effects and this time around search for black and white black and white effect you just go and scroll down here you should see the black and white it's right here so i'll just drag this black and white again put it in our footage on video one drop it down there okay just like that then you go to effects control look for black and white which is right here okay okay our next move we are going to do is we are going to nest you just right click footage and click nest and then say okay okay just like that again we shall go back to our effects and this time under effects we look for paint bucket A paint bucket okay which is right here and then we drop it in our nest okay just like that you want to go to stroke and change that and change it into stroke and then fill selector you want to come here and give it opacity okay just like that and then color because we want a white color around here so just come and click on color and come down here and select the white color and say okay just like that so the next thing you want to do is play around with the numbers and giving it the particular kind of outline that you feel you want okay you might not really go for something so big but something just simple something like that i think and then the opacity you can also come and play with the opacity tolerance and see which actually suits for you okay the tolerance i think i'll go with that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and put some motion in my image and to achieve that we shall go to effects control and just come down here to motion and under motion we are going to use position and scale so i'll first go for position create a keyframe right here at the beginning as you can see there's a keyframe that has been created and then i'll just pull this or you can always go down to your timeline and pull you bar there and determine where you want your keyframe to stop i'll just position my subject to move just around there click scale and then also determine where i want it to end just around there then i'll come and try and increase on the size of my subject just like that so basically what you want to do is you want to create some kind of motion in your image something that can move just like that select them and then say is out and then you can also select these ones right click and say is in so that you have that kind of smooth kind of flow okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a name right here so I'll just go to my title go to new, new title click default steel so here we are we go to our tools here click T for typing just like that then I'll just come here and give my subject a name First you can select a font that you want and down there I could want it in the middle just around there and I'll give it color you know if you want you can also give it some shadow so I want to give it some shadow so that I can bring out 
something that looks something nice and just go to distance and increase it just slightly something like that so that's your name So when you're done creating your name just around there you know you can always close this and go to where your project is and bring our title now because i want to put it on top just drag this slightly up animations some slight animations in our title what I will do I'll go to effects control and come right here under motion and I'm going to work with the position and scale so I'll first go to scale right there remember you're trying to create keyframes for your title so I'll just give it a direction maybe I want it to come from around and around there and then I'll also create other keyframes under scale. Just click on my scale. And also create other keyframes here. And just try and increase on its size. Just play with the numbers. As you're increasing the size, of course, you're looking at um, your monitor to see how much you're actually working with. Also select keyframes right click then click is in and also go to these ones right click okay. so you will also want to add a few effects or transitions I'll just close this and go to video transition just give it some transitions or just go to maybe dissolve and under dissolve I could bring deep to white just place it right here in between my moving clip and the static clip so that I have something like that okay so the end result should look like like this well I hope you enjoyed the video that is all for today and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any other video that I'll be uploading. I hope this particular video will be of help to you in your video editing. Thank you and we meet on another project.